Good morning, everyone. I'm Aisha Chidole. I'm an immigration attorney here in Orlando, Florida. Um, I represent clients all over the United States and all over the world that want to immigrate to the United States. Um, so today in immigration, I want to talk about the diversity visa lottery for 2021. Um, frequently, it's called DV lottery, you know, same thing um, for 2021. And what this is, is that the United States um, yearly um, basically does a lottery and a lot about 55,000 um, people um, are selected um, to be eligible to apply for adjustment of status in the United States and, um, you know, become green card holders. The diversity lottery is personally near and dear to my heart because, it, but for the diversity lottery, I would never have met my spouse. My husband was a recipient of the diversity lottery and I met him, you know, when he moved to the United States. So um, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it and just the expediency or the urgency of it. So, you know, the, the window basically opened from October 2nd, um, which was yesterday, 2019, to November 5th of 2019. I know you feel like you've got a month to do it, but the earlier the better. You do not want the system crashing or anything causing delay. The very least you can do is you want to go on the site and find out all the requirements you need and start getting all your things together, you know, so you can apply. Now, and having said that, um, you know, there are many countries that are qualified to apply, but there are also countries that are not qualified to apply. Usually, if you go to the travel.state.gov, it would have a list of the countries to check if one of your countries um, are eligible. Um, personally, I can tell you that if you're Nigerian, you're not eligible. I'm Nigerian, so I know this, and that's, you know, more recent in the past, you know, you're eligible for it. Um, to apply. And when they're looking for eligibility, they're looking for your country of birth, not your country of nationality. So they're looking for where were you born? So, you know, if you were born in London, you know, no, or the UK and you live in, I don't know, Nigeria, that's just random, you'd be applying based on your country of birth of the United um, Kingdom. There are a few exceptions to it, but, you know, I'd be happy to talk about it more, you know, give me a call now, explain the exceptions, you know, i.e., you know, maybe if your spouse, you'll find as a derivative beneficiary under your spouse or something like that. So basically, what are the requirements, you know, or some of the requirements, you know, um, Anybody that's over 18 can file. You know, if you're over 18, they basically want to see that you have a high school diploma or you have equivalent of two years. Um, and a GED, I believe, does not um, qualify. And they want to see that you have, um, you know, or that you have, you know, some working experience that's sort of an equivalency. And, you know, so they're going to ask for all those things in your interviews, right? And so um, the other thing is, if you have any children that are married and under 21, you can file for them. And in fact, you should include them in the application unless they're already US citizens or legal permanent residents, then you can opt not to include them because, you know, if you don't include them, that's one sure way to get disqualified from the process. If your kids are over 21, then they can go ahead and do the lottery themselves. Um, and keep in mind, you cannot do multiple entries. So you as a person cannot apply twice, hoping to skew your chances of winning it. But you and your spouse can both apply. So your spouse can apply for the lottery and add you as a beneficiary like you and your children and you can um, also apply and add your, your spouse and your children under 21 that are non you know US citizens you know as a beneficiary and so typically what happens is that you know once they do um, they start notifying people I believe it's in March don't quote me on this. Um, I don't have all the information in my head. Um, but in March, once they start um, releasing um, the visa availabilities, at that point, it's going to be first come serve. So it behooves you to get everything because at that point, you're going to need to do either, um, if you're in America, you're going to have to do an adjustment of status. Of course, I advise you to use an attorney if you're doing an adjustment of status so you can make sure that you get your application right because, you know, Many people qualify and are selected, but many people don't become green card holders. Why? Because they have other things that end up disqualifying them or they don't do it on time. 
you know, or they don't really know what the steps to take. So if you're already in America, unless there's a grave need for you to be out of the country because, I don't know, the rest of your family can't get to America and you want to just do it, then you can go do consular processing, meaning that you're doing your processing out there. But if you're an American, the majority of family in America, they can get to America then you want to do an adjustment of status um, application. And what is an adjustment of status? It's just what we do for typically, you know, similar to family-based immigration, you know. Um, and always best to seek legal counsel with that process. So because people mess up or miss, miss the deadlines, what usually happens is that even though 55000 55, I said dollars, 55000 is the cap, they always take a little bit more just because they know that people are going to mess up or get disqualified or not be able to do it. Um, so, so that's, you know, essentially in a nutshell, um, check your list of countries. Majority of the African countries are there, you know, except Nigeria for a fact. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll just check on my computer real quick and give you guys some, you know, other quick countries that are there. Um, same thing in Asia. A lot of the countries are there. Afghanistan, Bahrain, um, Brunei, Burma, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Iran, Iraq. Um, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mongolia, North Korea, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, you know, Singapore. Um, and then um, in Europe, you know, majority of the countries are there. Um, I know um, and in North America, Canadians and Mexicans are not eligible for the program. Um, and then, you know, in Oceania countries, you know, certain parts of Australia, Fiji, New Zealand, you know, um, South America, you've got Antigua and Barbuda, Argentina, um, Barbados, Belize, Bolivia, Chile, Costa Rica, Cuba, Domin Dominica, Ecuador, Grenada, Guyana, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, Peru. So, you know, you can definitely um, look. And then some countries that are not eligible this year um, are in South America. Good to note, uh, Brazil, Colombia, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Guatemala, Haiti, Jamaica, and Mexico, like I mentioned earlier. Um, but this is a great um, um, opportunity for you to try out your chances, especially if you don't have any family here in America or any other way to adjust your status. Because, you know, like my husband did, he did it and completely forgot about it until he found out that he won the lottery. Um, it could be your luck. So um, good luck. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, give us a call for 7995-6567. All right. I would love for you to comment um, below if you're planning to apply or if you applied or if you're a recipient. I would just love to know, you know, different, you know, see different people in different countries um, and where you're from that you've applied and you've been successful um, getting it. All right. As always, I'm an attorney, but not your attorney. This is just for informational purposes only. Um, but if you love me to be your attorney, give me a call at my number below. Have a great day.